Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so, so sorry for my absence. I'm trying to prep my life and everything to make it all better for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I've been absent, which is ironic considering the fact that I'm here. Anyways, so today's video is all about um, eyes. I think I'm going to be trying out like the NYX Cosmetics um, In Your Element Fire Palette. Did I get that right? I'm going to be doing a really dramatic eye look today with some yellow because y'all know I can't, I can't live without a yellow foiled eyeshadow like. <sighs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and Please stay tuned till the end because this time I really do have like a surprise for you guys. I mean, you wouldn't want to miss out. And if you're the type of person that's just gonna scroll to scroll all the way towards the end, then shame on you. And just a horrible person. So today I'm gonna be trying out an eyeshadow palette from NYX Cosmetics. I've never used any eyeshadow from NYX Cosmetics, so um, this should be fun. This should be an interesting experience. You know, we're, we're in this together. So at the back of the packaging says, Playing with fire has never looked this good. <laughs> the striking palette is packed with 12 blendable hues of rich, pigmented, pigment intense shadows ranging, ranging from shockingly bright to warm transition shades. Okay, so clearly the shades don't have any names. So forgive me if I keep saying shade 1, shade 2. So I feel like this packaging is super, super cute. Like this is like a minimal travel size. Um, you know palette you can go around with it and the casing is super hard too so you know like if you throw it in your bag it's not gonna like show up with like 16 of them missing even though there's like only 12 shades <laughs> my nails are digging into it Shh. oh anyway okay okay you know what y'all saw them <laughs> I damaged it a little bit but it's fine hello darkness my old friend Okay, so I'm gonna start with the shade number four as a transition shade. If you all know me, you all know I'm literally just going above and beyond right now because I never use brown shades for transition shades, which is funny because I mean I have brown skin, but I just I don't I don't like using brown shades for transition. I prefer orange shades and reds. I feel like they bring out the colors of the shadows that come afterwards a little better than you know, I don't even know the kind of look that I'm going for today. I'm just, I'm just winging it to be honest. And isn't that what I'm good at anyway? So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pack in a lot more of this shade, like on the furthest part of that crease, because I kind of like a smoky eye. No matter what I do, I just kind of like a little bit of smokiness to my eye. And yeah, now I'm taking the shade number four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I have to cut so that I remember. And basically, I'm just gonna use a smaller brush and just tap it right into the outer corner right there, just to concentrate that color. This is kind of giving me patchy vibes, so I'm just gonna just work it in carefully, I guess. And if you stick around till the end of this video. <laughs> I might have a little surprise for you guys. Okay, so this turned into a purple smoky eye real quick. I don't know how, but we are here and you know we are gonna move forward. I think I'm gonna be using this is the shade eight, number eight. I really hate having to count so that I can remember because sometimes I always feel like I'm gonna say it wrong anyway. And I'm pegging it on on the further outer corner of my eye right there just to give it a lot more smokiness than it would have had if it was just that purple eyeshadow that I used at first and after this we're gonna blend it in so that it don't look weird and you know like this <laughs> okay so this black eyeshadow is way way better than the purple one I just hope that it blends as easily as that first one because I feel like that first one Still holds the cake for like the easiest blending eyeshadow I've used so far in this palette. So let's just blend up just the top part of that black because you don't want to lose the intensity of the color even when we're blending it. You can always pack it on, but I just feel like this helps you so that you don't have to keep packing and blending and packing and blending. And we're gonna continue blending in that black or blend it in until you're satisfied with the way that it looks. But let me just tell you, the fallout for this black shade, this is, 
<laughs> this is mildly impressive black eyeshadow because I know that for dark skin girls, a lot of us have a problem with having like finding the blackest black black eyeshadow. Sometimes I see a lot of people using like the Inglot gel liner before they use like a black eyeshadow just to make that black shadows pop. But this is this is okay. I mean, I can live with this. Now I'm using my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade uh, Deep Tan and my Zoeva. I don't know what this is. Detail, detail something 2G7 brush just to cut my crease. Sometimes I forget that I have to be specific with the brushes that I use, guys. I'm so, so sorry. Like, I'm working on it. Now I need to shut up because this crease does not play. Okay, so now I'm going to be using the shades, I think, either 1, 5, 6, or 12 for the crease, but mostly number 6 though, because it's a really pretty golden color. The problem is, I feel like it could be more pigmented, so I really have to pack it on. Hold on. Hold up. That, that, that is not what we're going to do. I'm just going to go right back with the brush, because, you know what? Okay, this is a really pretty color. I just really wish I didn't have to go back into the pan so many times. Like, wow. Okay, so now I'm going to be using my ColourPop No Filter Concealers in the shades Deep Golden Rich Tan and I think Rich. Just so I can contour and highlight my face. So I'm going to be using Deep Golden right underneath my eyes first. Just one swipe underneath one eye. Because to me, this is like a pretty bright concealer. And because it's a little too bright for me, I'm just gonna swipe turn right underneath it like this so that it basically creates an ombre effect for the concealer when you blend it in. It doesn't create a, as harsh of a line as if I had used Deep Golden on its own here. Yeah? And I'm also gonna be using tan on my nose and just a dab on my forehead, not like a lot because I just I stopped doing that. I think I wanna use a beauty blender though. So now I'm just going to be using my Beauty Blender to blend in that concealer right into the foundation that's underneath my eyes. And I, I like doing this especially for like really dramatic looks because it basically just brightens up your under eye. And if you're like me and you have like a little eye bag or situation going on, you know, you're always traveling light. <laughs> Um, you basically can always just do this even if you don't have any foundation on. So now I'm going to be using um, a tweezer <laughs> to contour my nose. And I basically just dip my tweezer in the contour shade that I want. And then afterwards I kind of just run that color down the bridge of my nose. And if you can add a little bit more, why the hell not, yeah? And I usually do this because I can never seem to find a brush that's thin enough to do this and do it at the same time. So now I'm going to be using um, the F4 brush um, from Sharp Miss A and I'm going to just leave that contour that's on my nose and I'm going to contour the rest of my face, especially this fire head on mine. So this is basically my trick. I don't just contour the, out, the outline on my forehead here. I kind of bring it in a little bit on the sides there just so I decrease the size of it from the side as well. And I basically just dab it right there and you can always blend it in later because this is basically a foundation. <laughs> so now I'm going to be contouring my cheeks as well and I'm just going to bring in that warmth. Basically just bring shade back into my face honestly. I feel like this isn't for reducing anything. It's just to bring shade back into my face because foundation and concealer and everything do flatten out your face. And I usually mix this with powder contour if I want to and it works perfect for me. Okay, so now I'm just going to contour, uh, powder contour right on top of that, um, what was it, cream foundation contour that I just did. And this is basically just to set the contour in place so that it doesn't move and, you know, because during the day you sweat even where I stay. I mean, it's winter right now in Botswana, but <laughs> it's hot as hell. The sun is burning me, but, you know, this helps to stick, I mean, 
to make sure that your contour stays in place and also just to deepen the contour if you use the cream contour that's not that is not dark enough because that's kind of the struggle that i've always had with contours anyway so now i'm just gonna powder the parts of my face that i that didn't really get a lot of powder you know just to set the foundation in place and you know to reduce that sheen because i do have oily skin and i use oil on top of that like for my, my serums my you know a lot of things that I use have oil so I'm just gonna do that to mattify everything and to bring everything together oh 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 like my foundation cracks a lot like because you know I'm always just <laughs> all the time so I just you know just set your foundation right there because wow you know if you laugh a lot like me and you know you're gonna get love lines before you're 25 you might as well just okay so now i'm gonna try and brighten up my eyes especially because the under eyes just look so dead right now i'm gonna be using my zoeva smoky shader and i'm basically just dabbing that same black color that i used on the outer corner just so i want to show you guys the difference that this makes so i'm gonna do one eye and I want y'all to be the judge of this. Like, does this make a difference? Or do you just feel like this is just a waste of eyeshadow now? You just tell me what you think. So I got this really cute blush kit from Shop Miss A. I absolutely love, like, the rainbows, the little diamonds, and the unicorns on the package. Um, I honestly, I think I forgot, like, which one I got. But it, it's basically, like, four different blush colors. And... These are like magnetic and you basically just stick it into the pan and you know, you make your own blush palette. I don't know if you're able to buy like different colors and then make your like own custom one or if the colors are already set according to the names of the palette that you decided that, that, that you decide to buy. <laughs> but I kind of decided to get this one because it seemed like it was closest to like shades that would match or show up on my skin tone because you know blush colors are really cheeky like that so I this is like my favorite one same as this one sometimes I just swipe across but today I just want to show you guys what this one looks like on its own and I'm basically just gonna take my brush this is super pigmented by the way and shop me say is like a dollar store shop so you know I mean I don't know if this is like a dollar but <coughs> it's still cheap and I have like an affiliate link to Shop Miss A. If you guys want to support me, that would be so great. I'll just link everything down below. But yeah, you know, get quaint off of your purchase. <laughs> this is super pretty like i don't want to lie this is a super pretty blush so today i actually decided to do a youtube giveaway instead of an instagram giveaway don't worry i'll announce it on instagram and everything <laughs> so i'm gonna be giving away six liquid matte lipsticks that's right six girl six of them and they're all different colors so you don't have to worry about like oh well, it's the same colors and you can get your cheeks no it's six different matte liquid lipsticks this is from lastly beautiful and these 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 lipsticks are so creamy guys like the Nora liquid lipsticks that i tried on before are super drying and i told you guys that i really really love that but these ones are super creamy like they really don't dry up my lips i don't know if i've told you guys this before but they're super creamy and even though they're matte i don't know what it is like i feel like they don't chat my lips to a point where i feel like my lips are like a numb but anyway i'm giving out six shades and that is the whole range um this is worth 900 pula guys which if i basically just summarize and just estimate is about 90 us dollars so you know <laughs> if you want to get yourself free liquid matte lipsticks six of them all you have to do is subscribe subscribe to my youtube channel that's right that's right why aren't you why why is that button not clicked huh why is it still red hmm <laughs> it. subscribe to my channel and then you just have to look for lushly beautiful on instagram and follow their page that's it that is literally it 
And if you guys want more information about this giveaway, feel free to just head on over to my Instagram. I'll link it below and everything so that you don't suffer. And I promise you that I'll clarify everything on Insta on my Instagram stories. So you know, if you want to know more about this giveaway, just go on ahead. And also, please feel free to check out Lashly Beautiful on Instagram, Lashly Beautiful on Facebook. If you want to purchase these personally before you win them, um, I think I'll announce the win in about a week because I don't want any. I don't want this to take long. So just hurry on. Hurry up. Hurry up and subscribe, subscribe, and you could win all these liquid lipsticks. Today I think I'm going to be trying out the shade Enchanting because I can't find the shade that I actually like, which is I think Glorious or Goddess or something. You know that matte brown lipstick that I, I once posted on Instagram, like I'll just put the picture right here. <laughs> Yeah, but I did this look and I really love this shade, but I can't find it. I was gonna use the shade Enchanting, but it's a little too purple and I already have like a purple undertone thing going on. So I'm gonna be using the shade Graceful. I feel like this is a gorgeous lip color and I just wanna show you guys real quick. Alright, overlining of the lips done and I'm gonna... <coughs> what is wrong with me today? I'm gonna be using the shade Graceful. I love this applicator. Like, look at that one swipe. And oh, I forgot how good these smell. Like I literally forgot <laughs> these. Ah, they smell like candy. And ah, gosh, I forgot how good these feel on the lips. You know, I really did because I lost my favorite shade. I think I want to spruce this up a little bit. I'm just going to add some lip gloss to that look and we'll be done. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to check out all my other videos. And don't forget to communicate with me on Instagram and Facebook and everything. You know, I'm here. I'm here for your <laughs> enjoyment. Anyways, bye guys.